Hi, everyone. Hey, welcome back. Welcome back to another continued series with the business leadership experts as Donna continues talking to us about the five pillars of financial strength that every business owner, you've got to know these things. And we're lucky because I can't think of a better, more qualified individual to help us on this particular topic than Donna Phoebus. She is the virtual CFO at Temple Executive Coaching. And in our past episodes, Donna has already enlightened us. Uh, uh, three of the five, we're going to be on number three today, but she's already enlightened us to liquidity, the importance of liquidity, the difference between profit and profit margin. But in this particular segment today, Donna is going to be educating us to everyone's favorite topic, and that is sales. So Donna, how should an organization, some ways that they can view increasing their sales? Uh, well, there's four ways. Uh, but thanks for having me back, Mike. I always have fun with these. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why, but these are just fun to me. Maybe it's because I get to talk to you and I know other people are listening, but um, just that added value between, you know, our client meetings and everyday work. So thanks. Yeah, we get to talk uh, about something other than clients. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So um, so there are actually four ways that um, a business owner can look to increase their sales. Okay. Um, so I'm going to go through each of these points today and just give a few tips. And um, hopefully, you know, when they, you know, when, People are listening and when they walk away from, you know, the podcast, they'll, you know, have a way that they can move forward with a few, few of these tips that I'm going to share. Right. So, Even if they just pick one or two, they don't have to do yep. all, all four of them. Just pick one of them and work exactly. in that area. Yeah. Yep. And, and just, you know, kind of work from there and, um, you know, doing one will, you know, make a difference. So, right. Um, so quickly the top four or the four, mm -hmm. um, four ways are increasing the number of customers that you want to work with, okay. uh, increasing the number of times that a customer returns. So repeat business. Oh, okay. Okay. Increase the average value of each sale. Hmm. So you're okay. increasing the value of each sale and okay. then the effectiveness of each of the processes within your business. Okay. Good. Okay. I got so it. Give, All four. Go ahead. Sorry. No. <laughs> no, all four. We got those. We got all four. Increase yeah. the number of customers that, that you work with. Increase the number of times that customers come back to you. Right. Increase the average value of each sale. I want to hear about mm -hmm. that one. And then increase the effectiveness of each process within yes. the business. All right. Yep. And processes are my favorite, by the way. I thought they would. Be. I'm not much of a salesperson, but it's, an, it's, it's obviously it's one of those three, you know, most important pieces to a business. So, uh, but if you yeah, got a so, process, yep. So, um, let me give you a brief overview of each one of the points. Okay. And, um, so let's start with the first one, which is increasing the number of customers that you want. Okay. So these are the ones that you want to work with. So this is what you, what is referred to as a front end activity. All right. And this is the face of your business. This is your, your first, um, it, what is that? Um, when you first meet somebody, it's their first impression of you, right? Right. So this is the first time a customer is going to deal with you. Got it. Um, so a few tips that um, can assist you with this and, and make, you know, your, your first, uh, what's the word? I just lost the word. <laughs> Holy cow, your first impression, first impression, you know, to be a good one, right? right. So um, that would be having a unique core differentiator. I refer to them as UCDs. And okay. what this is, is it is a specific reason that a customer wants to buy from you. All right. So as an example, let's say that you own a string of automobile, uh, auto, la, la, automobile uh part uh businesses right. you have a string of them okay so there's several um to stand out from your competitor you might um offer same day delivery of parts to the repair shops that you work with okay right um 
or maybe you give discounts to trade customers that spend you know a certain amount of money with you each month You've been listening to the Temple Executive Coaching Podcast, where we engage with experts in business growth for small and medium-sized companies. If you're an expert and would like to be featured on the Temple Executive Coaching Podcast, please email Mike Temple at mike at templeexecutivecoaching.com.